This past October, both Luminar Neo 1.21 and On One Photo Raw 2025 released new and updated versions of its generative AI erase tools. Great news for customers who have more choices than ever for removing complex distractions. However, you may ask, which one is better? That's what we're going to be answering in today's video. Before we go into the slideshow comparison and select a winner, let's run through some relevant background information on each tool, starting with Luminar Neo. Luminar Neo's tool is called Generase and is, according to the company, a tool which allows for the removal of unwanted elements while seamlessly filling gaps with textures and elements that match the surrounding area. Currently, Luminar Neo is on Black Friday sale, costing just $69 for a perpetual license and $39 for a yearly subscription. Do note though that even if you purchase the perpetual license, its generative AI tools will last only until January 2026, after which you will need to purchase another subscription. Moving on to On One Photo Raw 2025, On One Photo Raw 2025 costs 99 US dollars. It's not yet on sale for Black Friday. Its generative erase tool comes in two modes. The first is a local generative erase, which has a few notable features. First, as the name suggests, local generative erase is processed in the local computer, which allows it to be free forever. No need to subscribe or pay for credits. Second, it has just been updated as part of the recently released 2025.0.2 update. On one says local generative erase now has less tendency to generate new objects when removing an object. The second generative erase model of On1 after local generative erase is server-based generative erase. Server-based generative erase relies on a service called stability.ai which costs $10 for 1,000 credits or around 300 generations. As far as I'm aware, the service is pay per use and the credits do not expire, which is great for customers. So that is some background info on both tools. Next, let's move on to the slideshow comparison. At the end, I'll give a quick analysis and my conclusion on which one is the better generative erase tool. So I hope you found the slideshow comparison illuminating. Which one did you find better? Write it down in the comments. Before I give my own conclusion, let me first point out which one was the worst performer. I found the worst performance came from On One's local generative erase tool. The local tool consistently produced overly smooth output, lacking detail and textures, which did not blend well with its surroundings. I suspect the reason for this poor performance was On One made compromises to quality and resolution to enable an acceptable processing speed, as generative AI is indeed a very time consuming process. Unfortunately, though, to my eyes, the quality was much too low to be acceptable, and On One should consider ways to increase resolution, even at the expense of increased processing time. Moving on to the two remaining alternatives, on one's server-based generative AI and Luminar Neo's Generase, which one of the two was better? Well, I did find both tools produced comparable results. Both were 
competently able to handle larger object and complex distraction removal. Both also suffered from the same weakness, the inability to generate faces, as you can see here. Since I promised to choose a winner, I would say the winner by a hair was Luminar's Generase. Why, you might ask? Well, inspecting the results more closely, Generase seemed to consistently produce the more textured and detailed results compared to on one's lower resolution and smoother output. It also did a better job in this particular scene reproducing the hand more competently than on one. In addition, I found its interface snappier and more intuitive, taking less clicks to get the job done. So Luminar Neo edges out on one in this test, but it is early days and on one will surely be improving its models going forward and may well be able to take the crown in the not too distant future. So I hope you found this video helpful. Let me know which generative erase tool you're using, Luminar Neo or On One Photo Raw, or maybe some other tool, write it down in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. And if you like this content, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share to help keep the videos coming. Until the next video, I'm going to see you in the next one. Bye for now.